are. See you on a... Why isn't it working? Hey, cheer up. That was way better than last time. Now you just have to say the spell more clearly. And cup your hands. Like this. Arsionem! See? That's how you do it. Right, alright, I get it. You're so much better at magic than I am. Can we skip this one? It's hard. How are you supposed to get better without getting a hang of the basics first? Remember, there are no shortcuts in learning magic. I know, I know. Does Master of Aristus need anything done today? I hope he doesn't order us to get him another sack of frozen toads. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually heading to the royal court today. He has an audience with the queen. Let's head downstairs. Hey, Livian, come on. All right, all right, I'm coming. Just a few more adjustments. All in time. All in time. This will be complete. Master! Oh, Olivian, my boy, and Kyra, great. Great. You're both here. What's that thing, Master? A cloak? It is a gift for Prince Leaf, the Queen's son. You see, I will be going to the royal court today, and the Queen is giving me a very important task. I will not spoil the details of it, but I want the both of you to come with me. No more errands for today. Awesome! Could I try on the cloak, Master? Heavens no, it's not yet complete. It is only for Prince Leaf. Livian, it would be rude to give him a used present, right? But it is a cloak, a very special one. I am giving it to him for his 18th birthday. Master, I don't understand. What's going on? What about the deliveries? Won't Sir Bernard be needing the enchanted blades? And what about the baker down at Rail Street? He'll need his flavor. You do not need to understand this, Kyra. Now, now. Come, I can manage to sneak both of you into the audience. You will finally have the opportunity to see Queen Radana and Prince Leaf in the flesh. Hear that, Kira? You get to see the prince in the flesh. <laughs> oh, shut up! I heard he's just a sickly little guy who can't even walk. Even his mother does all the talking. He is a kind lad, Kyra. Hmm. Alright, give me a second. I shall seal the cloak in the black box. I would not want anyone trying it on. Are we understood, Livian? Yes, Master of Arrestus. All rise! Hey, Queen Radana, Regent of Nador, and her son, Prince Leaf! Kira, looks me up! I can't see! All right, here. Climb on my shoulders. You're too big to be doing this, Livian. Whoa! I can see the queen and the prince. That's some pretty fancy clothing they're wearing. Uh, uh, look, there's Master of Aristus. He's heading for the queen. Attention, attention. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for coming to this court session today. The nearby kingdom of Carinth is currently in conflict with our ally state, the kingdom of Bluestone. It will not be long before they tread upon our soil as well, but we will not allow it. The kingdom of Nador has been the most powerful nation in the world for more than a century, and we intend to keep it that way. In the next few days, my son is to be of age, and he will rise to the throne like his ancestors have done many times in the past. I will no longer be your regent. What? Is she serious? How is that guy going to lead us all? He doesn't even look like he knows how to walk. I know many of you are hesitant to have Leaf as your leader, but I believe, with the greatness in my heart, that he is to be a true and just king. That is why I called on the help of our court magician, Everistus. For years he has been working on an enchanted item, one that will help my son overcome his debilitation. From this day on, Everestus will no longer be court magician. Instead, he shall be my personal magician. My queen, if I may. Who then is to tend to the court's needs, to the land's needs? We need to shore up our defenses before Karen launches another attack. The magician is responsible for maintaining the border on the eastern front. We need the barrier to protect our land. We will appoint the new court magician with all haste. This sacrifice shall not be for naught. 
as of now, all I ask of you is for your prayers and support for my son. Believe in Leif. Believe in the future king of Nador. That is all. The court is now dismissed. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm definitely not putting my trust in that leaf guy. It looks like he can't even hurt a fly. Might isn't always right, Livian. Yeah, whatever. Are we going with Master Everestus? Not a good idea. Look, he's following the queen to the back hallway. I guess they're going to talk privately. Poor Prince Lee. The whole fate of his country is resting on his shoulders. I feel so bad for him. I really hope Master's cloak works on him. Maybe it'll give him the strength that he needs. Are you absolutely certain it will work on him? I assure you, Your Majesty, that the cloak will give him the strength to rule. This here is the cloak that I've been working on for four years now. Using the rarest and most valuable items in the entire world, fibers from the hidden isles across the sea, Dragon scales from the devil's throat. It will make Prince Leaf kingly as ever. Dragon scales? What a terrible thing to use. Did you hear that, Leaf? He'll finally be able to walk. After all these years. Th th thank you, Master Everistus. My pleasure, dear Prince. Anything for the future king, the greatest kingdom in the world. Anything for the most beautiful, most commanding queen in the world. You are too kind, Everestus. You have my full trust and support. And may we live to see Nador's bright future. Yes, I see a blazing future indeed.